In this video, we will be looking at TBC580 Extraction Point Feature Enhancement. We will look at the manhole from laser scan data command. Let's now have a look at the new manhole extraction feature in TBC using laser scanning data. I already have a data set uploaded and classified it as well. It's always best classifying your data before using these routines. What I will do first is let's only leave the ground and the poles and signs on. Just the ground on, sorry. And now we need to do the extraction of the manholes. As you can see, we do have a few manholes already in the point cloud. Go to point cloud tab under deliverables, click on the extract point feature. you will see it looks a little bit different to 570. First of all, on the drop down, you have a few options now, trees, post signs, and then manual for, from laser scanning, and a manual option for from the photogrammetry. For this exercise, we'll use the manual from laser scanning option. Once that is done, you have two options manually, where you can actually go zoom in and click on the specific manuals you want to extract. Or to make life a bit easier, we can always go the automatic route and then you can let the software extract the manuals for you. As you see here, before extracting attributes, make sure that the point clouds you want to use are configured to be visible. So you need to make sure that your point cloud is visible that you want to do the extraction from. Okay, confidence level we get to now. First of all, let's click on extract and the software will now run and extract the manholes it can find in your point cloud. Depending on the size of the point cloud, it will depend how long the software will run to get it sorted for you. The confidence level is default set to 50. We can play around with the slider just now and you will see the difference. Uh, obviously you need to have a look and see if it picks up all the manholes. You can always drop the confidence a little bit lower if you don't have an, all the manholes covered or you can up a little bit if you have a lot of false positives to ensure that you don't have to too much rework to be done once the auto extraction is done. At the bottom you can see the progress bar almost done and there we go. You will see we get a green little path to show you all the manuals connected to each other. And as I mentioned, the slider, if you slide it a bit down, you will see not really there's one more added. And that's really low confidence. If we go higher, you will see we'll remove some of the manuals. But for this exercise, we'll leave it at 50%. Let's go to 46. There we go. And you can see all the manuals that it picked up. At the top here, you can actually now inspect each of these manuals. And we'll go into 3D view. Let's zoom in a little bit. And then if I press the right arrow, you will see it will automatically jump to the next manual. Over here, you can see we clearly have a false positive. So you can click on ignore and that will ignore that extraction. On to the next one. There you can see that's a grid there. Let's ignore that one as well. Next one. There we go. We got a manual there. Next one is fine as well. As you can go along, we go. You can always use the mark option. If you have picked up a manual that's not 100% correct, you can always mark it to come back to it at a later stage to fix it. We'll just run through this. As you see, there's another one that we'll just leave. And when you're happy with all the manuals that has been done, you can add a feature code if you want to, to add some attributes, or you can just ask it to add it you'll see the layer will be under points and it will start from point one and it will add a point for you on each of these manuals that it has now found. So if I zoom out, you will see all these manuals will now have a point created for them. Okay, there we go, all of those ones. Let's click on add to add those specific points now. TBC will tell you the amount of points you will be adding to your project. When you're happy with that, go yes. And there you can see we have added 11 manhole points to our project. If you close it, let's go to the properties of one. Here we go. Right click properties. 
and there you go add it with the coordinate and obviously if you had a feature code in there it will pop up there as well and that is how you do the routine to auto extract manuals from laser scanning data in TBC.